Welcome back to Henry's Garage. Today we're going to do something a little different um, and I'll explain it right after the intros. Okay, so this is a nine, uh, two, 2007 Ford Focus 1.6 litre. It doesn't get used very much, it's my wife's car and since we both work from home um, it doesn't get used much and just to show you how little you can see that that oil is still quite clean um, and this oil was changed in July of last year so it's September 2023 that was done in July 2022 so what's that 14 months that shows you just how little it's used anyway she was going to do two three hundred miles in it um, for um, trip to the airport because I'd have the BMW in. and um, she asked me to do a quick check on it so I was doing your basic service you know making sure everything was okay I wasn't actually changing the oil just checking everything looked fine and I came to look at the spark plugs and pop that off and then in here on the um, in here you've got um, spark plugs down the middle and you've got your um, rocker or cam shaft um, along either side okay um, and it's all sealed off so the middle is is different but where those sparks are it was just full full with water and you can see I mean this you can see how bad it was so it was completely chocker um, so I did a bit of investigation and um, apparently um, there are some core plugs, some freeze plugs at the top in between here, between spark plugs one and two, and between three and four, there is a um, there is a core plug, and those apparently leak. And so what we were seeing was this having having leaked, and so obviously I didn't take out the spark plugs or anything. I did take this off to make sure that I had core plugs there and I cleaned it out and so all the water in theory is out of there although this is still wet um, which surprises me a little bit so we'll see if when I get it off if it's worse again um, but what we're going to do is we're going to replace those core plugs okay now the interesting thing about this is I don't really see the coolant having gone down and what I can't remember is if I topped that up last year or not. Um, so, because um, otherwise I don't know where it's come from. So I must have topped it up um, and that it's gone down a little bit. So what we're going to do is in this episode we're going to change those core plugs. Um, so, yeah. So process for this is um, to get this off it's 12 volts, 4 here, 1, 2, 3 here, 1 there, 4 at the back. Um, move this out of the way, unclip this at the back, unclip this. So we will um, start with that um, by taking this stuff and I tell you what it's so much easier than on the old cars to do. You can see how easily those unclip with the exception of this one. Um, so I'm just going to get all of these out of the way and then undo those bolts and then we'll um, have a look at the next step. Okay, so um, that one, all of these four, and these four are all just a regular 8 mil. Back here, um, you can't get a ratchet over it. I can't, you need a long one, so I have to use a spanner. And then here, we've got some cables um, connected up. And so up the top here, we actually have a 10 mil, which I, when I was doing the test last week, I didn't tighten down. Hmm, that's interesting. 
Um, so we have a 10 mil which we have to take off. Um, that connects up with um, a bracket and then underneath the bracket there's an 8 mil. So we have to get that bracket off first. So I'm just going to unplug that. Now this has a 10 mil bo bo bolt at the top and at the bottom so we have to get both of those off in order to get at this. Right, so I had to take this out, which goes at the back of this. Um, and it goes in here, if we can see that. It goes at the back of that. I had to go underneath the car to do that, so we haven't got much film of it. Um, so these are loose. I'll just undo the rest of these, and then I realise I've got to take half a dozen of these bolts out here. Yeah. Uh, on the timing chain cover, one, two, ab about five I have to loosen off just so I can slip the cover off. So we'll do that. So I've loosened off all of these. I've taken out the three top bolts from this. The middle one, as you can see, is longer than the other two. Okay. I've also loosened off the bolt that's down here, so this will now move back and forth out of the way. And that I think should allow me to which ones should allow me to get this off. Okay. So this is um, quite a nice thing about um, this, is that these don't actually come out, so they're all fitted in there. So, let's take a better look. So this was absolutely, completely full with water the other day. I've cleaned it out and... Um, It looks a bit better. So I'm going to just clean that again. You can see we've got some water at this side still. So we're going to clean that a bit more, try to dry it out, and then we're going to have a go at those core plugs. Okay, so here's the core plugs. These are the new ones, same size. So I've not taken a core plug out before. But I believe it's a case of tapping it on one side and hopefully it should go in and the other side should twist around. Well, I can't tell if it's just going in. Okay. So Okay, so I've used a 15mm um, there on the inside just to get it started. That's 19mm, that looks a bit small. A 
I've still got a bit of a lip sticking out. Okay, good. Okay, so that's taken just a bit of time to get it nice and flat. But that seems okay. So, I don't like all that rust and stuff in there. We're going to give it a squirt with WD-40. So I'm not quite happy with how much fluid was still in here. So I don't want, you know, when I change these spark plugs at some point, I ought to them now since they're being sat in water. Um, but I don't want to do it unless any of that fluid into the engine. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it back together and we're going to drive it a little bit, you know, a few hundred miles at some point, and then we'll check it at that point and make sure it looks okay. So the only task now is to do the reverse of getting it off and put it back together. Right, so assuming I've done that all correctly, um, the hardest bit there, I just need to put a tie on here, the hardest bit there was actually getting the bolt for this wires back on. Um, so I'm going to go take it for a drive and we'll see how it is. Well that went somewhat better than expected, so um, that's good. Um, so something slightly different this episode on Henry's Garage and I um, hope you enjoyed it. And we'll be back, hopefully, with the TR7 next time.